Hey guys, we're going to be looking at uh, complementary and supplementary angles in this session. So, it's going to be a really short one, so let's get started. So, basically, complementary angles, they add up to 90 degrees. That's literally what it means. And supplementary angles, uh, these angles add up to 180 degrees. So... Let's have a quick look at an example of complementary angles and then I'll do supplementary and then that's it for this session. So let's say if there's a question like uh, find the complement of 58 uh, degrees or we can almost say find the complementary angle of 58 degrees. Now because the two angles add up to 90 degrees um, all we have to do is because it's complement, uh, complementary we just got 90 minus 58 degrees and that's 32 degrees. That's basically it. So what we can say is 32 degrees is um, complement of 90 degrees or you can say 32 and 58 are complementary angles. Alright, with supplementary angles here's an example. So let's say we want to find the supplement of what have we got here? 110 degrees. Then we know that supplementary angles add up to 180. So basically we have 180 take away 110 degrees and that equals 70 degrees so all it is telling you is that 70 degrees is the supplement of 180 or 70 and 110 are supplementary angles now you know during um, a test situation you might actually it's very easy to mix up these two things uh, one of the ways that I found uh, to remember what comp complementary and supplementary is um, I know that C comes before S, uh, so therefore 90 comes before 180, so that's the way I remember it. So that if it's um, complementary, then it's 90 degrees because it's smaller, and supplementary is 180 because S, is, S comes in the alphabet after C. Yeah, so something that I do to remember, uh, you might actually find your own way to remember things. All right, that's about it for this session, guys. Thank you for watching.